Let's make our current app into a more real-world-like to-do list application. The first thing to do is by setting uh, each row to show just one item. In order to do this, we can go back to the real controller here. In the NS Collection real delegate for layout, we can implement one more method on the size for item at index path, and then return the value of our NS size with the collection view dot band stop width, and then the height will be 50. The setting here will override the information set uh, at the collection view. This is uh, what you can see. Uh, each row has only one item. The second thing to do is to set um, the test view. Uh, if I click on uh, anywhere of that item, uh, it will allow me to edit the uh, test here. And uh, if I click to add the other, it will switch to another item and allow me to edit. So first of all, let's um, go to the image collection view item here, uh, where we use it for uh, each item's representation. Um, we need to add a gesture, and the gesture we need right now will be just a click gesture. So we can set a click gesture recognizer. The target will be set to self, and now with a selector, click. We will add the gesture to the view, meaning the view of uh, the particular item. And then we are going to implement the callback for the click uh, gesture when it is happening on top of uh, each item's view. It will pass in the uh, gesture, and we can start uh, doing uh, checking and um, things like uh, turning the test field into uh, editable. So first of all, uh, we check uh, whether we check the location. Of the click gesture happening inside the current view. Uh, we can do things like um, uh, I just want to take in the click gesture uh, when it is in particular location. Uh, say if I click on the left side, uh, it won't uh, happen to anything. Uh, but if I click on the right side, it will allow me to edit. So I could do something like if uh, location dot uh, x larger than uh, than a uh, certain value, say 50, I will only handle the editable uh, of the test field if I click on the right side of the item. And we can now access the test field and check while the test field uh, is set. Indeed, we have set it uh, previously. If I go to the uh, collection view item and look at the collection view item here, it has set the outlet to the test view. So we can access the test view here. Uh, this one is just to check it is uh, not new and we can use the test field attribute here directly. We can turn on test field to editable equals to true. And let's try running the application. Now if I click uh, on the very left side, less than 50 points, nothing will happen. If I click in the middle, for example, 
it will try to edit and actually I am editable now but uh, it looks weird because um, the area of the test field is so small I couldn't even see what I typed into it in fact it is still true uh, the auto layout uh, set in the current view let's go and take a look the current auto layout constraint being set uh, just the uh, alignment vertically and horizontally uh, at the middle we didn't set like the width of the label so when it changed to editable it tends to go uh, to a very small area to modify this we can basically uh, make the label larger say um, dragging it to the left and dragging it to the right and uh, maybe I could even remove uh, the two original constraints and then uh, set it again say the left side I'm going to set 50 just like I'm reserving some spaces for um, displaying an image or whatever and then for the width I can perhaps set it to say 250 also I would like to keep it um, to align vertically at the middle now the constraint is set like this and run the application again now uh, the label uh, tends to show at the left with uh, 50 points in this range if I click on it it will allow me to add it something like this there are two things I want to make changes uh, one is uh, if I click return I want to um, finish the editing uh, secondly I want to remove uh, this uh, run corner effect when I uh, choose the test field so let's do it one by one um, perhaps removing the test effect here is easier because what I need to do is just to set the focus uh, ring type to none and in fact I need to uh, do one more line here which is to make the test field becoming the first responder so it is going to focus on the test field and uh, allow us to modify the content inside now if I click anywhere of the view it allow me uh, to go here and then I could modify so the second thing I want to do is uh, to save the value uh, when I click return to do that um, first I need to uh, make use of the test field delegate method so uh, perhaps at somewhere in the view did note I could set the test field dot delegate to self I'm going to implement the delegate methods in the current object um, but I need to uh, specify the protocol for this uh, test field delegate as well so I'm going to do it here uh, set the extension for the image collection view item and then implements ns test field delegate 
there is a method we can override, which is the control text the end editing. This notification will happen when uh, there is a return um, event happening on the test field. So at this point, we can uh, check the test field again. just to make sure it is not new and then we can turn the editable to false and also we don't need to focus on this test field anymore so I can resign first responder all right let's run it again So now if I click on here, modify something, and return, uh, it is not the first responder anymore, and I can go to the other one, type something, something, etc. I can always go back and uh, modify it as well. So that's a simple way in um, editing the particular item and hope it is helpful to you in building your own to-do list application.